other day I was outside actually having a cup of coffee browsing Facebook on my phone as I'm sure many of us do when I saw a flash of orange flash by on Marketplace and goodness me if not five minutes later I was finding myself in the possession of and this was like three streets away from my house <gasps> an Electrolux 302 <gasps> but not only a slightly broken Electrolux 302 but a huge bag of stuff that is for it and also not for it as well yeah three streets away i had it picked up within the hour cost me a tenner so what does 10 pounds buy us let's have a look Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner charms. How are you today? Yes, this thing harks from between 1974 and 1979, if my Electrolux brochure is to be believed. And I would have picked it up from a house just like mine, who were having a garage clear out. Funny how these things come about, isn't it? Yeah, I wasn't particularly after an Electrolux 302. I think my grandmother had one. The, on my mum's side, long past now, when I was very, 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 very little. Don't remember too much about it, other than I sucked up a fly. And the inner bag was so clogged that when I opened it up, the fly flew away. And that was it. Never really chased after one since. They're quite rare. Bless them. You know how much I hate paying actual money for things. So, we have this one here instead. And this is the basic model. So, we have... <laughs> Ah, oh, friend, the flip over floor tool, the hateful, hateful thing that it is. But luckily it comes off of the wand, which is always good. Sometimes these crank themselves on there, something solid. I know that Mr. Vintage Appliance Emporium had to do similar to one, but no such luck here, thankfully. We have ourselves a hose, which amazingly is completely airtight. How fantastic is that? Well, I do think it is the original. Looks perfectly original to me, to be honest, in every single way. It's what they came with. They did well, so yeah, an amazing hose too. Then, actually no, we don't go on to the vacuum next, do we? Ah, we'll go on to the bag of stuff, because we'll need some of it. Yeah. Inside this bag of stuff, we have, well, I'll pick things up at random, a brand new genuine hose retaining seal. This is this seal here, and this seal's perfectly fine. So this means I have, and I have need for one of these, actually. I, I, I have an Electrolux that I haven't shown yet because I've been in need of one of those, so that is amazing. This is the hook for this machine, this machine stores by you bolting this to the wall and hooking it underneath the cleaner and hanging it from the wall and then hanging all the tools over the top. We have that, which is very nice indeed. We have a set of filters. I have zero idea what they're for and they're going to go behind us now. Then we have an absolute massive stash of Electrolux twin turbo filters, some new, some new but open, and he didn't have an Electrolux twin turbo, if I didn't ask him, but I haven't seen it on Facebook, but that's brilliant, because they are incredibly hard to get hold of, I would have paid a tether for that, just on its own, so basically all this is now free, I now have some twin turbo filters. This was in the box, or the bag, spare filters, there, and there are some bags, very simple, open-ended, single-walled paper bags. Nothing too exciting there. We have a fairly used crevice tool. Yeah, not horrific. And a pretty good condition dusting brush and upholstery combo. That's fantastically good condition. That's amazingly good condition. Blimey, fantastic. So yeah, for tenner, 
just for all those tools really because obviously they fit many electrolux cleaners it's worth it because sadly this is broken sadly this is if it pair would be damaged and you know is, is why it was worth a ten well i don't think it was worth a ten the guy wouldn't have known i didn't know because well you can tell look and there's a slight clue in the way the thing looks. Yes, it's had the orange strip running all the way up there and it's smashed off. Which is a little bit of a shame, but I'll be honest, I don't actually mind it looking like that. They did nothing but hold an Electrolux emblem on the top, the same width as the button for there. That is it. And it doesn't look too hold before it. So although it's you know, spares more than a whole machine, we're not going to write... This little thing off just yet, Bessie. Because, you know, I've never had one. And you know me, if I've never had one, I want one. And here we have it. We do have a very nice WG Volex clone plug look. <gasps> look at that. Very nice plug. Made in England. Patents applied for and probably expired by now. Yeah, nice cable grip. Stereotypical grey Electrolux Flex. Very good. Indeed, if we tip the machine up, I have no idea if it's supposed to, if these actual, like, you know, bumpers for when it hits things, I think they are. They don't come off. They've gone rock solid. I don't think it's just blue tack that someone's popped in there. And then when we're up here, look, we can open the front. Exactly the same design, actually, as we've seen on the Euro Forbes. It had this style of thing we do now. I can't see the ghosting effect for the automatic you know bag thing that this doesn't have because it's completely different there as well. We'll take the inner bag out and inside of here is pretty spotless really. A little bit of surface fuss but they all do that. That is nothing to worry about in there. So it is a problem with Electrolux cleaners and yeah we can probably drill those rivets out and replace them with little brass things that I've got so it will be all right now the bag in one of these is a plastic cage that holds an inner paper bag which we have one of here and I don't want to take it out of that plastic cage because it's in there very nice and then we have our little inner bag there we go look very filthy um in fact, actually, we could clean it out because just out of the corner of my eye. It's the Victor V9, boys and girls. Hello, Victor. Hello, everybody. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, we, we, we will give it a vacuum off then because I'd imagine, and going by the amount of dust coming off this, it's been a fair while since it's had one. So, yeah, we may as well do it now. We can even fit a new bag, couldn't we? Treat the old girl. Victor, don't eat other people's things. Yeah, you know what, we'll take the bag out. It's not really dirty, but <laughs> when it's refurbished, it's never going to see a paper bag anyway. It's going to see a sea by wind. I've already got a pack or two of these from a couple of the other older Electrolux clues that I've got. We'll put that in there as well. Yeah, I'll probably never touch that again, really. So there we go. Put that back in. That, that was a little bit dusty, but not too bad. It would be doable. Yes, look, this is this is why Dyson took a stronghold in the vacuum cleaner market in the UK and then subsequently in the world because this is what you have to deal with. Hateful things. They have a deserved reputation, I'll be honest. But never mind. Yep, put that there. Then you have to fold the bag over. Yeah, this is, 1980 they sold this until, and I think they used the design a bit since after that as well. And there we go, the bag in your admittedly very, very cheap vacuum cleaner is changed. Let's plug it in, I'll show you how it works. 
Haven't shown you the back. It's bar a little bit of damage, which is wholly justifiable of you, because this thing is flipping flimsy. Look, we have the exhaust port, and yeah, here it is an incredibly fragile piece of plastic, which yes, is sadly a little bit broken, and yeah, it needs to be held with care. But look at this. I reckon this is what was in that packet and it's been fitted because this is mint compared to how black and grimy and carbon dusty the rest of the thing is. That is mint. So yes, I forgot to show you that. And that just clips onto the back there. That's probably worth the £10 I pay for the whole machine just for somebody that has a better condition one. Yes, in fact, while we're standing it up, look, we'll have a look underneath. We have no front wheel. No, 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 sir. Far too posh. Two rear wheels. The rubber seems quite good. And here is the rating plate. Z302, 650 watts. Bloody, bloody, blah. Very good. Right, let's get it turned on. So our cheap £10 bargain is, well, cleaned up, although <coughs> it wasn't too bad anyway. But hey ho, while the V9 was out. And yes, it runs a little bit like this. Which is really, really smooth with you. The only problem is, is that, oh, I love a stink of carbon coming out the back. So I don't think it's, I don't know really, I don't know if it's not long for this world or if it's running fine and it's just what they do. But yeah, I'm certainly not going to put much effort into finding a new plastic piece. No, not at all. I'm happy with it enough as it is. We'll fit the hose. And yes, the hose, amazingly, is 100% airtight. I mean, this one. Oh, but that little hole doesn't do much. And if you know your Electrolux woven cloth hoses, if it was knackered, you wouldn't be able to do that at all. We can fit our upholstery combo tool to the ones. Unfortunately, we just have to throw the crevice tool away and never use it again, because we cannot store that. And yes, we can clean our house like the mid to late 1970s. Very nice indeed. So yes, this is oh, my new toy, one that yeah, I wasn't really looking for, didn't particularly want, but crikey, I wasn't going to let it go for a tenner just a couple of doors down the road. Oh, no, no, no. So who knows, one day we might see him done up again. Certainly he is complete and whole at the minute, although I cannot deny that if a more suitable machine needing a hose or a motor or anything else comes along we don't know but you could not really have any other machines that use the same type of hose and I've got a fair few of these so they had to care about that and he is 100% complete so who knows we might go the other way and we might see if we can find a scrapper that can donate its top. I mean, by the time this is washed, you won't tell unless you knew it was there. So, by a bit 50-50, I don't want to put any money into it, really, because they're still pretty worthless and common old things. But, I don't know, it does look nice, but it's certainly not going to jump the queue. It could be a while again. Before you see this one, it, it will get packed away and stored because there are many other things in front of it. But, I'll show you it now. And yeah, comment down below how easy do you think it's going to be to find 
that piece there, do you have one that you would like to sell? Would you like this? <laughs> I don't know really, it's one of those machines, I've done a save and haven't really thought much else about it, but we don't have to think much more about it today, in fact look, we could, we could give ourselves a sneak peek at how well it might come up. Oh, look at that, there's been a sticker there. Oh, look at that, that's going to come up. An absolute treat, bless it. And yeah, as soon as you wipe the dirt off, it's still nowhere. The problem with these vinyl, you need to get a little brush in there. I've had two stickers of I, I reckon it broke first because it's not held on that end. There's a little connector there. And this, I think it broke years ago. It's had a bit of tape over it until it finally gave out and they probably wondered why the heck they even bothered with the tape. That is going to clean up beautifully so yeah I think we might see it right. I might see what I can do. If not it might just come back together like this and nobody would know any different. But until that such same point there is the Electrolux 302 10 pounds from Facebook. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I, and probably him, will see you soon. Bye bye.